Welcome builders, Andy is here and welcome to another 5x5 five five Minecraft build. This time it is a merchant's house. Okay, let's have a look around this place and kind of learn uh, all about it. It's the merchant's house. This person would control the goods, the flow of goods in and out of the town. One of the greatest features is it's got a little river or you would put this house beside a lake or a river to control the flow of goods along the river and arriving at the city and connect with the rest of your city via a bridge and you can see there's lots of little paths and nooks and crannies. Hey, if you like Minecraft inspiration, you like build tutorials like this, you're wondering what to build in Minecraft, then hey, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell for notifications and that way you won't miss a video. This place has got a little secret door here underneath the stairs and this is where you would lead into the basement. Of course, you'd be smuggling some goods in. As a merchant, you would be trying to avoid the tax man and, um, or tax lady, <laughs> and trying to pay, not pay your way in taxis. That's the way I would do it. Anyway, uh, always pay taxis, everyone. Don't listen to Andy's Yoda. Uh, listen, this was a little basement there, and then you can come up to the main living area here, and this connects into the main tower as well, and you've got maybe got a bedroom area, but you can go up here onto the next level where you've got another kind of a bedroom area probably here, and you link to this balcony, and then through here you would link to the main living area. What I haven't done is any put any furniture or staircases in, that would be up to you. You would also need another little connection here, maybe a ladder <laughs> up to the, the attic here, and the attic's got a cool little balcony at the back. So, it looks complicated, but it's based on the 5x5 five five Minecraft building system, and it's actually fairly straightforward if you do it in stages. So let's get those stages started. We're going to start with the tower at the back, and you have to come up 26 blocks. So to start anywhere, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. And then we're going to go alternate on these blocks all the way up, like this. Boom, boom, boom. Burp. Same on this side as well. Alternate to polished Andy is Yoda side. Polished andesite to give it its proper Minecraft name. In between, we're going to go with Stonus Brickus. Did I manage that? I managed that without any mistakes. Let's see if I can do it on the way down. Yeah, that worked. Boom, 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 boom. There we are. Uh, go and fix your mistakes that you made. You not see me making any mistakes. That would be one corner of this shape. So you need to do the same across here. A gap of three. One, two, three. Boom. There are three blocks in between the corners. So one, two, three. Boom. One, two, three. Boom. So you need to do exactly the same on the other corners. And in the middle, all you've got to do is come up with solid blocks of stone bricks. So I'm really doing kind of, I suppose, a quarter of it just now. <clears throat> a bit more than a quarter, actually. But yeah, we need to get the other sides done. So let's get that done right now. Next is the turn of a fancy little turret at the top. So we're going to put a block of cobblestone right at the corner, in the middle and at the corner. And do that on all four sides, like so. And then in between all of them, we're going to put um, polished and the side. And then once you've got polished andesite in front of, or in between all of those, on top, we're going to go for a row of stone bricks all the way around the outside. Like that. And then on top of those stone bricks, we're actually going to grab some stone slabs. You may do a different tower top. I wasn't overly happy with this one I came up with, but just want to do alternate alternate uh, stone slabs like that to make kind of a, a, a crenellation battlement effect on the top. This is what I came up with. Again, the top of your tower may look different. Thank you for all the pictures you've been sending me on Twitter and Instagram of all the 5x5 five five builds that you've been making. It is absolutely fantastic. Don't forget, you've got to add some sort of floor in here. I like to just put a little stone floor at the top of the tower something like that and then I don't forget you're gonna have to have some sort of staircase or 
I don't know, ladder or staircase up to you, what you do. A little bit of detail uh, down below. I thought that does look quite good. Hmm. What I did extra was to add extra blocks of cobblestone right here. This is where you may differ and do something better. And then some cobblestone stairs under each of these. There we go. So that is the top of the tower done. Um, I did notice I put this little, this line of cobblestone slabs on. And you know what? I think it just looks a little bit better without it. So I'm going to leave that one without it. Next, we're going to work on this little base area down here. So let me show you to one side the shape we're going to go for. And we're going to duplicate that shape a number of times. So we're going to come up one, two, three, four with cobblestone. A little gap of three, again, to make this little five by five shape. So gap of three, up by four, gap of three, up by four. Seal the deal at the top with cobblestone like that. And then give it a floor with oak wood slabs like that underneath we can go for stone sorry cobblestone stairs like that like that like that like that and like that and that is the kind of little four by four not four by four four high but five by five shape that we need to use now i'm going to use special commands here to place a number of these and i'll show you exactly where they go so we've got one that goes right there so it shares uh, a line of bricks with that um tower then we need two more one and two so you can see you just keep adding them on they share the block in the middle and then we're going to go for another one here and here here and here so you're making a little grid of these and that is it okay moving this on what we need to do now is put some sandstone in here just to block off all the outside uh, parts. And then one last little smidgen of detail. I like to do that little upside down. Oops, that's wrong. <laughs> Correct the way up uh, cobblestone stair there. As you can see, not on the corner, obviously, but just there and there. I think it just adds a little, little touch of detail, which looks pretty nice. Okay, let's get the rest of the sandstone put in. Secret smuggling door in place. Next is the, we're gonna work on this square and this square. First of all, carve out a little door. We're gonna come up one, two, oops, not you. Polished Andy Zorosite, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, oops. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, like that. And then we're gonna add in a little kind of, um, what do you call it when the bricks stick out like this? I don't know, but the bricks are gonna stick out. Okay, they're sticking out, don't judge like that everywhere they're going to stick out just like that i don't know how to explain this better is there a better way of explaining the sticks are bricking out i mean the bricks are sticking out there and there there and there uh the rest of this whole shebang can get filled up with stonus bricus uh, leave space for your door of course boom, 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 boom. Uh, what we can also do is put a little bit of a, a ceiling on this as well. Oh, by the way, you can come across here like that just for a little bit of completeness. And then a little bit of a oak slabus for ceiling stroke floor for the next level up. Window there, window there. Uh, we can grab a door and the door is going to go right there. And then iron bars are going to go there. And that's it. That's that little section complete. I don't know about you. It just looks so cool already. Just want to play in this. This is, this is, I'm really enjoying this five by five stuff. Anyway, um, one, we need another little shape, guys. Another little shape which we're going to duplicate. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a tall shape. It's double the height of the normal four high shapes that you. This is eight blocks high. Again, in a little five by five grid. And simply at the top, you just seal the deal in with two layers of stone bricks like this, all the way around. And then underneath, we're gonna go for stone brick stairs there, 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 
there and there. And what we're doing is we're forming this kind of section for the bridge and this section for the kind of the, the large double height basement. So where do we place these? Well, um, I've actually put this one in the way. <laughs> Let me get rid of this a second. Right, I've moved it out of the way, but what I should also do is put in some oak wood slabs like that. Now we have to place them. Now I'm going to place them with a special command just because it'll speed up the video. But um, hopefully you can see exactly where it's going to go. It's going to start on that little square there. So as you can see, it shares quite a lot of the blocks. As you can see, it shares a lot of the blocks from uh, what we've been doing previously. We're going to have another one right there. Again, you can see that this line here is sharing uh, what used to be cobblestone, it now becomes as polished and the site. So I can t let you have a look inside and see exactly what has happened. So we need two of these shapes just here. This is the shape that we're, we're placing. We've had two of these shapes so far. I'm going to just keep going and have another one right there. And as you can see, that one is actually sharing uh, the back of the tower there. We need another one there. Um, and we need one there and there. It would take way too long to do that on the video, so this is why I'm using these special commands. And we need three of them sticking out here like that. So if I just slowly move the camera around, hopefully you should be able to see exactly what I have done. You're just repeating the same shape again and again. We've got six of them right here and three of them sticking out the front to form the bridge. Right, now we've got some gaps to fill in with sandstone, but before we do that, we have to make a little change here. These need to come up by one block. Just trust me, they do. They need to come up by one block. This is the only little kind of minor change that we need to make. Right, we need to fill in these bits here with sand. Oops. <laughs> Not right there, but a couple of things have happened. Um, the cobblestone here has been eliminated. We need to put this back. This is probably the most complicated part of the build. So I'm just going to fill this little section back in exactly how it was, or that was, that's close to how it was anyway. Yet yeah, here, the sandstone needs to come here. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. And it also needs to come along here. One, two, three, one, two, three. And what that does is it makes these kind of little two shapes here, which I actually really, really like. Um, the rest of this place needs to just get filled in with sandstone wherever possible, like that, for example, here. This one needs to get filled in as well. And what it can actually also do when we're filling these in is you can add in a little smidgen of detail with a little upside down or correct the way upstairs and upside down stair. So, yeah, let's get the rest of these done. Okay, good progress there, filling in these little gaps here. What we'll can do is add a couple of little touches of detail, whatever you feel is appropriate for your town or village or city. Definitely want to disguise the smuggling door like that. Okay, the next stage is another little frame. Four high again. This time the frame is made of oak wood, like that. Bring it across at the top as usual. Give it a floor of oak wood or a ceiling as well, doubles up. And that little shape needs to be spammed about the place as well. So again, using commands here, what I'm going to do is put one in there. Now, as you can see, I didn't replace the ones in the tower at all. We're going to have one frame here as well. I think you could probably see where this is going. We're just really putting a frame across the whole area like that and there we go that frame is complete what we also want to do is just um, add on another frame on top like that let me just get rid of that block there now we're all good to go with our framings so it's just a simple again another layer on top there we go one two three okay that saved me a bit of time for the video Hopefully you can get this stage done yourself. It's not too much building at all, but that's exactly where we need to get to next. 
Our next job is to add in these bone blocks. Aren't they nice? Bone blocks look really cool. It's such a nice alternative to use from wool or white concrete. Um, so we can mark in some little doors as well here into the tower. Like that. Down below as well, we should definitely mark these doors into the tower and again make a little um, platform like that, a door there as well. Okay, so now we are definitely ready to put on more of these bone blocks. They're going to have to go absolutely everywhere. If you haven't got many bone blocks, of course, white wool is pretty good uh, as well. So, yeah, let's get uh, the rest of these done. So if you don't know that, it's quite a lot of hard work, I do understand. A um, little couple of details. I think this wall here does well to be blocked off. So the only way to get to this room here is via this tower as well. Again, I'm not putting any staircases in. That is up to you on the inside. Let's have a door right here as well. This is going to be the main door. And since that was such hard work, let's go for a little bit of fun and just add in some detail. Now, one of the details we need is a little bit of a, a staircase here to get up to this door. So what I want to do is just pull these slabs across there. Eight little slabs like that looks absolutely fine. And then we're going to bring this kind of double row of slabs across here like that. And then we're just going to bring it out again like that. And then one more and then just wrap this round. Um, that would do. About there is fine. Let's put on a little oak fence here like this. A little bit of health and safety. And we could put one here as well. Now this is where we want to get our staircase coming in. So let me just stick our staircase right here. And we can start to build this up like that. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boop, boop. And I'm going to go there and there. So that's that first little staircase done. We can add in a little light here as well. One, two, three, something like this. I'm just going to use normal glowstone. You could use whatever you want, redstone lamp or anything that you feel is going to work for you. Let's bring this fence across to there. In fact, one more. And then we're going to go, we want to leave a little gap of two here for the staircase. And then this fence can just wrap around like so. There we go. It's looking nice, looking detailed. Uh, another little staircase can come in right here like that. And then we disguise the little smuggling door here where you can get your contraband out the way, Mr. Plant, your contraband goods in. And um, we've got to um, place a couple more like that, and we are good to go. So there we go. A little smidgen of detail complete. But now it's time to do some a little bit of roofing. Again, make a little make a little gap there for a little door into the attic. And we can probably even get a little sneaky door there as well. So this is going to be the attic area. Anyway, let's get um a bit of a, I didn't mean to pick up that oak slab. That means I've dropped my stone brick stairs. There we are. Stone brick stairs are going to go here. The key blocks are here and here as usual when we build uh, roofs. So let's just bring this one along like that. That one I feel can overlap, maybe even turned like that. And this one just comes back the way, upside down, and then back the way. Good, and that gets you right to the middle. So we can do an upside down stair in the middle, right the way up, and then upside down just to finish that off with a little bit row of brick slabs. Just there. And then we can continue on down the other side with our stair. Now we want to miss out these four blocks here. That's going to be uh, part of the attic. So we're just going to come along here like that. And like that. And that 
is our roof. Of course, you're gonna need some sort of spiral staircase inside the tower. I will leave that to you guys to finish off. One more little detail to go there. Uh, now we can turn our attention to spruce wood stairs. Spruce wood stairs. What we want to do is go one, two, one, two. And this is gonna to start to form our little balcony. We're gonna go there and there. Then I like to turn these round like that. Isn't that cool? And this one can be turned around as well. And then that is our balcony kind of taking place because we can just fill in the gaps there and we can wrap our balcony around a little bit as well, uh, all the way to there if you like. And one, two, three, four, five, something like that would do. And then I'm gonna put on some oak fences. I just like the way they hook onto the side of the building there, it really provides a nice bit of uh, detail like that there we go cool I like that um, we can also bring this up and it should connect into the roof <laughs> if your roof is long enough make the roof a bit longer this is a mistake I've made here so make the roof a little bit longer make it stick out another block like that that looks much much better so let's just move this one across there like that and put an upside down there that looks okay that block in there you can change if you wish. Now, that one goes there. So that's, that's looking all right for a balcony. I think that's fine. And we, what we can do is, hmm, where can this go? Yeah, something like that. A little light on top of the balcony. There we go. That's different from the one I did over there, but that's the joy of Minecraft. It doesn't always have to be exactly the same. I like putting these here. It looks like it's connected on. I love this. And then you can bring this across here for again a little bit of decoration maybe with some banners maybe another lamp hanging down would be quite cool let's do that let's have another lamp hanging down you could put uh trap doors around the lamp as well if you wish but yeah there we go that looks pretty cool okay now we're on to the rest of the attic roof so this roof looks a little bit complicated but it isn't actually too bad what we want to do is place first of all three blocks right there. In fact, this bit of roof can continue on like that. So hopefully it's pretty clear where those blocks are. I'm actually going to place another three blocks there, and I think three blocks here, and I think three blocks there. That should really help us. And I'm going to just fill in this little gap here with birch, and then you can remember these numbers. Three, two, two, one, one. So three, two, two, one, one and it should end up looking exactly like that. Now we're ready for the spruce slabs. So we're gonna take care and put these exactly where we want them. First of all, I'm gonna bring spruce slabs along here like this, stick them out by two and keep those two going all the way right to there. We've obviously got a fancy entrance to do in a little while as well. So there we go, that would be the start of it. Then we're gonna build up this row here like that. This row is going to be uh, blocked in as well. And we just want to bring our slab roof up in this fashion. I want it to make it look like this. We've got here an upper slab and a lower slab. That makes us the whole block. That can get filled in like that. That looks fine. That would come up to there. Okay, then that goes down. There. As long as it looks like this, you're okay. Um, that one goes like that, and then that one like that. Yeah, as long as it looks like it's stepping up by a whole block. Some of these are whole blocks, some of them are upper, and some of them are lower slabs. There we go, this come, can come up one as well. And we can just bring this across like that, and then we can come down the other side like that. So there we go. And these are gonna just, I'll just pull these across by four blocks. That will be enough for just now, four in total. Like that, there we go. Now, same sort of thing on the other side. Remember, this is one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, one. So it's three, two twos, and two ones. And then little slabs come along here like this, sticking out by two. And then you can start to just build it up from it. Always look from this kind of angle and it kind of makes it kind of obvious what has to happen. That's going to get filled in. So we've got full block, full block, 
half block, and now it's a full block. Now that's the uh, illusion of a full block. That is a full block. This is the illusion of one. This will be a full block, and then this again will be the illusion of a full block. And again, we can just bring this along here like that. Uh, actually, it can come up another block, and then it can come down the other side like this. And what we're going to have here is a little balcony up here. So this can actually get sealed in here, and we make a little door there like that. While we're over here, we might as well actually put that balcony in. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. And then just coming out here, we can just take this back in a little touch and just bring this out by a couple of blocks like that. Beautiful balcony right up top. Really atmospheric, isn't it? That balcony. Just so cool to have it sticking out the top of the build like that unexpectedly, really. So now we're on to the front here, the front entrance. I've actually been putting this front entrance off for a while. <laughs> I'm going to put it off even longer. I just want to bring these across by four in total. Is that four or five? One, two, th that's five. Okay, five in total. Boom, 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 boom. Just another little bit of space for the attic. And you could even do a little window here like that. I think this looks really cool. Again, atmospheric, just letting a little bit of light into the back of the build. I'm enjoying this. I really am. I love this house. Um, now, just before I do the front, again, I'm putting it off. There's a little balcony to go across. So let's do the balcony. Totally, totally putting off the front. Because the front is tricky. <laughs> it is tricky. How wide is this balcony, by the way? Is it, it must be two blocks. Two blocks wide, like that. All the way along like that. I didn't actually make a door for this balcony, so that's something that needs to be done as well. Yes, that means I can totally put off doing the front for another few seconds. So a little door would be handy somewhere like that for that balcony. That kind of makes more sense now. Right, okay. Can't put it off any longer. To finish this build, we're going to need to do the bridge and the front entrance. So yeah, can't put it off any longer. I have to do the front entrance. Um, oh, actually, do you know what? I can, because look, this little detail I forgot earlier on. And... This whole floor here, I want to change it into spruce wood and I want to lower it down by one block because I think it's better to step up into the build. So we're going to lower this down by one block, this whole bridge as well, like that. Okay, definitely can't put it off any longer. So what we're going to do is grab some cobblestone. We're going to come up by 10 blocks, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, like that, same over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, like that, um, here is going to be our step up, like that, we can put the diarrhea out here, and we can bring this diarrhea, spread it all the way up here, like this, leaving a little gap for a door, that there we go not too bad so far then we're going to grab some cobblestone stairs and we're going to go boop boop so that's uh the right way up and then upside down right way up upside down right way up upside down right way up upside down and then we're just going to finish off the top with a couple of blocks of cobblestone like that so a little bit of fancy detail on the front entrance of course this merchant would have made a lot of money so let's make this entrance look, look a little bit finer as well in a couple of very clever ways we can do that and that which turns these blocks absolutely delightfully and then we needed just a simple cobblestone slab right here i think that looks fine as well miss out two and then we're going to have a window in here let me put that in and grab more cobblestone stairs because one block above this window we can do this and this and it's the same kind of deal but we can put the slab on the bottom this time now it's time for the roof key blocks here are this one and this one that's where the roof is going to start so once you've got your key blocks in it should be pretty straightforward just to continue this roof along um, these blocks here are obviously going to have to uh, disappear like this and then the roof can just simply come along uh, into there like this this one's going to need to change as well 
Same on the other side. We can get rid of these two blocks. This one's going to come along. One, two, three. That's going to need to change. And then one, two, three, like that. And let's just keep on going. How far do we need to go? Like something like that, I think, is fine. Let's go up another level and see if it all works out. Let's put that there and that there. Next level coming up. Like that. There we go. Um, what can we do here? Yeah, this can just come in like that. Same on this side here. Um, so what did we do over there? Yeah, we brought it in here. We brought it in here like that. That looks okay. I think that's fine. Um, this can come over, 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 over. Yeah, it's a tricky little roof, that is for sure. It's a tricky, tricky little roof. Cannot lie about that. Um, let's go over to the front here, put the upside down, put the twiddly boot and butt boot, and then we can bring our slabs in. And hopefully that should tell us where to finish things off. Maybe if that came out and extended by one. Yeah, that looks that looks okay, actually. Can we put that block in? No, that would have to be up. So this, this is going to have to come back. This is going to have to come back. Um, now if we place that block there, that's fine. See, that blocks that off nicely. So what we can do is just bring these across, these across, and that one. And there we go. That is the house complete. I haven't done furniture. I haven't done details. I haven't put bushes. I haven't put the water. That is all down to you. You've got to do the staircases. By the way, you can add this little fence detail in as well. I'm not going to do that in this video. That is up to you to run that round there at the top. But it is just a gorgeous little place inside. It is fantastic to explore the inside. It really is. I love this place in here. And don't forget, you've got to do some sort of staircase to get up and down to all these different levels. It is beautiful. Huge, huge basement. Uh, lots of nooks and crannies. This is the kind of build I love to do in Minecraft. Hey, if you want to see some of my other builds in Minecraft, then check out the 5x5 playlist in the link down below. Oh, 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 before you go. <laughs> oh, 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 before you go. I forgot to finish the bridge. Oh, we can do these little bits. These are cool. I like these little bits. These are, you can do that, 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 and just knock out those blocks there like that and knock out these ones. Knock out these two. I'm going to go one. Nearly forgot to do these bits. That would have been very annoying to sign off in the video and not do them. Like that, you see? And then it's kind of like mash machulations or something where you can see down the kind of battlements which you can see down. <gasps> you see people coming from uh, below. So that's what you do with those bits. Same exactly on the other side. And of course you're going to jazz up that bridge. You can have flags on the bridge. You can have posts. You could have all sort of more banners hanging from the bridge as well. In fact, I put um, a couple of yellow banners, I think, up here in my original design. Oh, don't forget a door. And then we really are uh, finished. I love these spruce doors. There we go. Oh, my goodness. A merchant's house. Virtually done apart from a couple of gates. There we go. I'm going to leave off and sign off and say goodbye. That has been quite a journey. A good half hour long video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you've got any good ideas for a 5x5 build. Oh, and big shout out to Tribal Wars 2, the game where I got a, a kind of a picture of a merchant's house um, and I got inspiration for this build. Take care. Thanks for watching. Ciao, ciao. And the blocks be with you.